given that the Prime Minister has appointed Mark Carney as chair of the Liberal Party Task Force on Economic Growth and this position shields Mark Carney from Canada's public disclosure and conflict of interest laws as he is not deemed a public office holder and Canadians have a right to know about the financial and corporate interests of individuals shaping economic policy that impacts their everyday lives. The committee called Mark Carney to testify for three hours within 14 days of this motion being adopted. I'm going to accept that, uh, that motion as being in order. Uh, do you want to speak to it? Uh, if I could, go ahead. Yeah, so it's, we, we have a uh, conflict of interest regime in this country that is uh, that was set up so that Canadians knew uh, that whatever uh, whatever interests an, an individual who was a designated public office holder had, um, they know what those interests were. And then uh, conflict of interest screens should be uh, set up or divestitures uh, can be taken. Um, but in the case of Mark Carbon Tax Carney, uh, we, we don't, we don't, no, we don't, we don't have the full picture of what his holdings are, what his financial interests are. So he's making, um, he, he's advising the Prime Minister, and, uh, and I, I, I understand he's going to be holding uh, cross-country pre-budget consultations, and, uh, and he's been hired by the Liberal Party. And the only reason that, uh, that can be uh, inferred from this is, uh, is to avoid the conflict of interest regime. And uh, even, uh, even this past week, we had uh, an announcement from the government, $2.14 billion in a loan to a company called Telesat, um, just days after Mr. Carney's given this new job advising the Prime Minister. And uh, Mr. Carney is a personal friend of the, 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 uh, the head of that company and has a financial interest in it. So again, this is information that Canadians need to know. Um, so uh, while we have advocated, I have advocated for the government to bring Mr. Carney, have him sworn in as a public officeholder, have him subjected to the conflict of interest act so Canadians know. Like, look, I, I, I wouldn't pick uh, Mr. Carney. Um, to, uh, to advise me, but that's a choice that they've made. They're the government. That's their purview. Um, but the manner in which this is being done appears to be uh, done in such a way to subvert the conflict of interest regime. Uh, there are specific provisions in the Act uh, with respect to ministerial advisors. And how do we know? How do we know what the framework is for, uh, for Mr. Carney's uh, employment, his interactions with ministers, his interactions with the Prime Minister versus his interactions with the Prime Minister who is also the leader of the Liberal Party of Canada. So it, it's about transparency, it's about clarity, so we can get some info. There, there is some information uh, that, that we have through publicly open source uh, about the interests of Mr. Carney, uh, but let's, we need the full picture. So it, it's important uh, for Canadians to get a, a good understanding of that um, the best way to do it would be to have a conversation uh, with, with Mr. Carney. Agreed. Here, here.